Though it's not a device for me, the Lumen could be great for you. Find out to hear all about my experiences with this device. Hey guys, Alex here from alexfergus.com and today I've got a review of the Lumen uh, metabolism device. I guess that's what you call it. Um, I've been using this for a bit over two weeks now and I have to be straight up, it wasn't something that excited me personally. Now, I don't want my negativity to come across as this being a bad product because it's not. It's just that in my situation and my understanding about health and wellness and what I do and how I eat and how we live, I don't really need this. And in fact, it was more of a burden than anything. I mean, I, yeah, it was interesting getting some of the data, but I think there's better ways to get that data and uh, some of the, the features that you know, so that really drive this uh, device. I just didn't. I just didn't need them. I just didn't find much use in them, and um, it was becoming more of a chore than anything to use this device, which is not good, right? Uh, you know, you don't want something to be a chore, especially if you've paid for it. Okay, so first things first. What is the Lumen? Well, if you head over to Lumen.me, you'll see some. Uh, you'll see a video and some good um, overviews of what exactly this device does and how it works. But in a nutshell, it's a device that measures your metabolism. It shows whether you're burning carbs or fats or a bit of both. And it does this by measuring your breath. You simply breathe in and out uh, on this device a few times, sync it with your iPhone and the algorithm works its magic and gives you a score. It doesn't give you an exact breakdown or a percentage or anything like that, which would be really cool. And in fact, that's one of the uh, criticisms I have with this device. It just gives you a score between one and five, one being carb burning, fat, oh sorry, I think one is more fat burning than five being carbs, uh, which all sounds really good. Uh, and like I said, if you head over to the website here, yeah, I'll read out some of these uh, statements. The first device to hack your metabolism, enhance, enhance fat burning, lose weight, boost energy naturally. Um, it utilizes advanced technology, once only available to top athletes and, and metabolic testing clinics. Uh, now it's you know available in your pocket. And it's got all your reviews. Uh, the gold standard of personal metabolism tracking, scientifically proven to meet the gold standard, gold standard in multiple validation studies. And see, that's an, on that topic. That's another reason um, I wasn't the biggest fan of it because I often did back-to-back -back readings and my score changed, and I hadn't really done anything. Like I'd stayed in the same spot. So as soon as you're seeing that, you start wondering how accurate is it. Um, track your metabolism daily so you can see how things like your diet, sleep, training, exercise uh, all impact your metabolism. And then it gets into the whole uh, customizing your nutrition, getting meal plans and meal recommendations. To be honest, I mean, you read all that and you think, wow, this is awesome. And that's what I thought. Now, after using it for two weeks though, I found. I don't know, I found it was lacking. I found it was more general recommendations and general feedback. Um, I don't know, I guess as someone who sees myself more as an advanced biohacker, um, you know, who's happy to do multiple blood tests and all these experiments and that, I, I wanted more out of this. And after using the app for a while, I feel like one of the main drivers behind the app is to help people like lose weight, which is not a problem for me or a goal for me. And uh, really, it has a big emphasis on the nutrition side, which of course, this it's tracking your metabolism, right? So that's what you'd want to do. But it's all about, you know, carb intake and how many portions of carbs did you have and all that. Now, personally, if you've been following my blog or maybe you've done one of my health coaching programs over the years, you'll know that I, I don't like that approach to diet and living in general. I don't like tracking calories. I've got a really good article on, um, you know, calories and, and why I don't believe in tracking calories. So check that out. Um, I, I think it's too restrictive. I think it's, I think there's better way, better ways of dieting and improving your health and well-being and all that. And that's how I live, right? And for me, if we go off on a quick tangent here, for me, it's all about basics, but doing them consistently and uh, making sure they're rock solid. So for instance, prioritizing sleep, um, getting some exercise once or twice a week or three times a week, getting outside as much as possible, um, eating good quality food. So I don't care if I have, you know, a, a treat or a dessert or something, but um, I make sure that it's, you know, homemade with organic sugar and like 
raw milk and, and good quality ingredients, right? Versus like just going to the supermarket and getting the frozen um, pie from, from the freezer section. So that's how I personally live and that's what I find to be sustainable uh, and easy to do and I, I found it works really well with clients. Now I, I really wanted this to be like more scientific, I, I guess. Uh, so a good comparison here is right now I'm testing Levels Health app, which is synced with my uh, Libra uh, Freestyle Continuous Glucose Monitoring Device. Now that's giving me hard numbers, right? It's showing me, uh, it's giving me exact readings in, uh, of my glucose levels. I can plot when I eat uh, food and see the reaction. It's telling me over a two hour period, you know, was my bl bl blood glucose all over the place or not. And it's really cool. I, um, if I train, it shows me what's happening with my, my training effect on my blood, blood glucose. Uh, if I get stressed, I was running late the other day and, I, and my blood glucose went through the roof. You know, I get hard numbers, right? And it's really interesting to see that data. This is all a little bit, yeah, just, you know, really high level sort of gen generic, general sort of stuff, which is, again, not really what I want. Okay, so I've opened the Lumen app here. So, First things first, you see, good afternoon, bit of niceties in there, but straight away you see that nutrition plan at the top. Let's have a look at that a bit more detail. So why this plan? Your body, at the moment, so I've been getting a lot of higher carb readings, right? And I have been eating a lot of carbs lately. Um, that's just the diet I'm eating at the moment. Uh, so my body's eating a lot of carbs. Limiting carbs will help you shift to a body of fat burn. Okay, cool. Um, today's measurement. So today I've only done one measurement. It was in the morning, uh, 8.30. I had a four out of five, which is not great. Uh, and then as I scroll down a little bit more, I can see my commitment this week. Monday was a three, today was a four. So that's what you see on the main screen. Uh, if I go into tools, it's just, it's lots of information stuff, right? You know, heaps of meals to fit your plan, um, finding meals with the right carb intake. Uh, there's some videos, you know, how to do your morning measurement, how to use it all the time, yada, yada, yada. Um, some insights about what's going on in my body, uh, when your body taps into it, like you can click all these and get some interesting tidbits and stuff, which are alright, but I don't, I don't 100% agree with them like, like this. As long as there are carbs in your system, your body will, will use them first. I mean, we know that's not, it's not so black and white like that. Only when you use up your carb stores, your body shifts to its fat stores for fuel. And that's, that's just, like, that's just not true because, um, you know, we all know, well, if you've been in the bodybuilding space, you know a lot of people do really high carb, low fat diets and they drop down to ultra low levels of body fat, right? So anyway, so things like that, I'm just like, it doesn't really sit with, well with me. Um, and then down the bottom, practice breathing, learn to breathe. Yeah, cool. So then we go, go over to the me section of the screen and this is really where you can see, finally start seeing some data, but there's not really that much in there. So the first thing is that Lumen Flex, Flex data up the top. That has taken me two weeks of daily readings to get that score. So I actually only got that score, I think today or yesterday. So previously it just had a locked icon. So we'll come back to that soon. So then beneath that, you can see my morning scores, which are typically around that three reading, which is not ideal. Two would be one or two, according to the Lumen, one or two would be best. I find that quite interesting because I always do about a 12 hour fast each night. Um, at least like, you know, if I have dinner at seven, I don't typically eat breakfast until seven and sometimes later, 8 a.m. Um, so I'm quite surprised that some of those readings are like quite high, four and fives. Remember higher readings show that I'm using more, more carbs. And the other thing is like, sometimes at night I don't eat many carbs anyway. So yeah, I find that quite interesting. But then this also shows that I, I sort of have some doubts about the readings because like I said, I have got it up. I've done my reading in the morning, like you meant to. And then I've done a reading not long after without having any food, without doing any exercise. And I've got a entirely different number. So then I think, well, what's going on here? Um, so yeah, that's, that's one concern I have with, with those numbers. And of course, if, if the numbers are incorrect or inaccurate, then the whole thing's inaccurate. Anyway, as you scroll down here, you see my levels over time and there's no real pattern there. We can click, click on week, month, three months. I've only been using it for a fortnight. So yeah. And then we can click up here on morning and I can change it to before eating, after eating, before training. I think I've only ever done one pre and post training reading. So you could see your pre and post. Um, yeah. And it stayed at two for both things. So, uh, you know, that is kind of cool. The downside though is like, 
I thought I'd take heaps of readings, right? I just thought, oh, before every meal and after every meal, I'll do it. Before every training session, after every training, I'll use it. But I only did that for like a day or two, and then I stopped. And um, this was before like I started realizing that, hey, this device wasn't really for me. This was just simply out of with practical reasons. It was just, it's quite time consuming to do this. So I thought it would be a simple blow in, uh, inhale, exhale, d job done. But no, what you have to do is you have to sit, you have to sit with your feet on the floor, relax, okay, cool. Then you have to do a deep uh, inhale, through here. Then you hold your breath for 10 seconds, and then you do a big exhale. Now, um, there's a little guide on the screen, on the app, and that helps you uh, stay nice and, you know, keep your breath the right flow and all that sort of jazz. And about three quarters of the time, it goes through fine, but there's a quarter, or maybe even a third of the, my readings, I don't get good numbers. It says I have to do it again, which is very frustrating because you're like, damn, am I going to sit there and do another one? You know, maybe I exhaled too fast or I stopped inhaling too soon. So anyway, you do the first reading, then you've got to wait 15 seconds just sitting there, and then you do the second reading. And again, you hope, and, and by second reading, I mean the second breath. And by then, you, you hope that you get the second one right. So the whole process could take, I don't know, it's probably like one or two minutes, right? But if you stuff it up, you add an extra 30 seconds or so. Now, I know you're probably thinking, hey, Alex, that's nothing. But, yeah, it's nothing for a morning reading. But to be honest, it is a bit, if you're wanting to do it before every meal and after every meal, like you sit down at dinner, oh, okay, well, now I'm going to do your reading. Oh, you stuffed up one, you got to do it again. You're waiting, you're waiting, your wife's sitting there, or your, your kid's sitting there thinking, what are you doing, Alex? Just eat your food, you know? Uh, and then you do that, and then you got to do a follow-up one afterwards. Like I said, it gets a bit old, especially me as a dad, you know, like I've got lots going on in my life. I'm not just, you know, the same biohacker I was five years ago where I'd dedicate tons of time to some of this stuff. But soon it just got to the point where I was like, I just can't be bothered taking a reading. And that's why I stopped doing, you know, before and after trainings. I think I did some befores, but then I forgot to do the afters and you're just like, oh, I won't even bother taking it to the gym anymore. So it's a shame because um, if it was so much easier to use, like, yeah, I probably would. Like if it was just one quick in and out breath, you probably would just use it all the time. Hey, what's my levels? <laughs> Done. Okay. But it's not, it's a couple minutes. And if it goes wrong, it's an extra minute or two. So that's why uh, when you look in my levels on the app here, um, there's actually not that much reading. Down again, you've got my weight section. I only plotted my weight when it asked me at the start. I don't, I don't care about my weight. I just leave it. Well, I care about it, but I'm not tracking it. Right? Like I'm, I'm just at peace with uh, my health and diet and body composition. So that's it, but that's it. Like, that's really all you have on the app. Um, and as you can see, I, I really feel like the fact that it's got my weight down there, um, I think it really is focused more towards like fat loss clients, right? Like people who really want to uh, optimize their diet to burn fat, um, which is what all the, the cues and recommendations and all that, you know, the pop-ups like, hey, try to cut back on your carbs and get more into fat burning mode. Like, I really think that's what it's geared towards, which is not, which is not me. And it may not be you either. If you're more, you know, an athlete, biohacker, um, watching this, it probably doesn't interest you either. Instead, you might want to look more at a, you know, continuous glucose monitoring device, which we'll get to soon. So let's go back up to the top, the Lumen Flex score. Now this is why I was putting the effort in, it, <laughs> the effort in each morning to um, consistently, you know, take that reading because it said I needed two weeks reading to get my Lumen Flex score. Now, um, it gave me a score out of, of 7.5. I think it was out of 20. So that's quite bad, right? That means I'm a shocking uh, carb burner, which is, you know, hey, it's not great. Um, my background, I have done all sorts of diets. And yes, I've done very, very strict ketosis for about nine months, I think. It just wasn't for me. Um, I've done a lot of cyclical ketosis, which is a diet that I actually really like and, and do recommend. But at the moment, I, you know, here in New Zealand, winter time, I had porridge for breakfast with some maple syrup and some raw cream. Uh, lunchtime, I had some home kill sausages with um, some potatoes, I think, and a little bit of a homemade chutney. So you, you got carbs, sugars, fats, and that. Um, dinner tonight, we're having roast pork with some apple sauce, pumpkin, peas, beans. You know, like, it's just a well-rounded diet it's all good quality ingredients everything's from our farm or you know really organic stuff but there's lots of sugars in it i guess i i often have juice um i drink a lot of milk um yeah so 
So that's probably reflecting why my score on here is bad. Now, is it bad though? Like, well, according to that, yeah, it, could, it should be so much better. But I, I get the impression that to get it really, really good, I have to be in ketosis or close to it. I, I'm, it's just the, it's just a theory. Um, obviously I can't prove it, but just based on the feedback I get, you know, like it's all about carbs and all that sort of, um, carbs and fats and that. I, I just, I feel like that's what it is. Um, sort of focused on, which is, you know, hey, that's all good, but it's just not really what uh, I'm doing. So, a few things I should mention about the product itself. Battery life was great, like, you can probably get 15 readings out of this on one charge, um, so that's good to know. You're meant to keep it in a travel case when you take it away, like, if you put in your gym bag and that, and I, I think I did that once, and I just keep forgetting about it. It's just, it's more things you got to do, and, um, more of a hassle, right? So I was actually just taking it like this, which isn't great. Um, charging dock and the design is really cool as well. It all works really nice. But I do get a bit concerned about like the cleanliness of it. Like, cause you're blowing into this, inhaling and exhaling all the time, right? Like maybe multiple times a day. Um, you can clean the outside, but you can't get into the inside here. So you can clean all around here, but you can't get right in there to clean. Um, and, you know, like, you're breathing through it, right? I'm sure there's moisture and all sorts going in there. In fact, one day I had it left sitting there and my boy, my, my toddler, picked it up and he's, like, playing on it and blowing and stuff and it was just covered in, like, saliva and stuff. And I'm, I mean, it's it's my boy, right? Like, he's he's all good. But I thought to myself, well, I actually can't clean that out. Like, there's, there's no way I can do it. Like, if another kid came up and picked that up, I was like, oh, gosh. So, I don't really know how that works uh, from a cleanliness point of view, like, in a year's time, is this going to be super gross? I'm not too sure. And the last thing is, before I do wrap up, um, I have mentioned the Levels Health app, and that is something that I am experimenting with at the moment, and um, I will be doing a review on that. Now, I think if you're someone like me who is a little bit more, I want to say advanced, but I don't mean that in a, in a negative way, like, for people who aren't advanced. I just more into the more advanced sort of stuff with their health and whatnot, then, you know, if you had to choose between the two, definitely go with one of these because these things are really cool. I mean, I'm seeing some awesome data. So I found out, for instance, that um, corn chips, like just send my blood glucose levels sky high and then I get some serious rebound hypoglycemia. It's happened twice now. I'm like, whoa, okay, that, that's weird. And it's weird because I have it with a lot of cheese and sour cream and avocado, right? But every time I have these corn chips, it's just... <laughs> rocketing um, and I can see that in graphs and stuff and you get two weeks worth of data out of one of these and I'm starting to see some really interesting patterns and trends and correlations emerge and that's hard numbers but it's giving you like a, a number you can go off and compare to um, you know peer-reviewed PubMed studies whereas this the lumen is just giving you a scale of one to five it doesn't say you're doing x percent body uh, fat and carbs and that so I don't know it's if you're into more of the advanced sort of stuff and a bit more serious about the biohacking side of things and health, then yeah, maybe consider one of these instead of the Lumen. If you're just looking for some assistance to lose weight and you've tried all sorts of things and PTs and followed diet plans and nothing works, then hey, try the Lumen. It could be perfect for you and I'm sure it's perfect for a lot of people. It's just not perfect for me. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give me a thumbs up. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos and reviews from me, especially the Lumens, uh, the Levels Health review, which will be coming in a few weeks' time. Um, otherwise, I will see you later.